ClickView and Printing is the enterprise class reporting solution for ClickView that enables you to create, manage, and distribute all of your reporting projects. Let's take a closer look at ClickView and Printing 17. To start creating your ClickView and Printing projects, you first have to create a new app. Once your app has been created, you have to connect it to one or more ClickView documents using connections. Connections tell ClickView and Printing where the ClickView documents are, so that ClickView and Printing can retrieve data from them. A connection defines the origin of the data for reports, filters, and tasks. The ClickView documents used as ClickView and Printing sources can be stored on your local computer, a network shared folder, or a ClickView server to which you have access permission. Once you've created the connection, you can create filters, which determine which data will appear in a report. In this example, by adding these values, the data contained in the ClickView document will be filtered on the specified fields. You can add or remove filters to give the end user the most accurate information possible. ClickView and Printing allows you to easily distribute reports filtered for recipients to ensure that only the appropriate people see controlled information. In the Filter Users page, you choose the users with whom you want to associate the filter you are creating. In this way, users will always see only the information that they are interested in, instead of the information to which you want to give them access. You can also filter data by applying customized roles. You can create a role and assign it to specific users. When you create a role, you choose which actions a user can perform. You can apply a role in two ways. Either select from the list that contains your previously created roles, or build customized security roles and assign the roles to specific users. Security roles can be built and assigned to users. This ensures that only the appropriate people can access custom filtered reports, as well as build and modify ClickView and Printing apps. An app contains reports that will be distributed to users. To edit the report template, launch the template editor directly from your browser. In the template editor, you can design office-based, HTML, and pixel-perfect banded reports using simple drag-and-drop functionality. This is an example of a daily report built in Excel, with a table showing the top five customers, a chart populated with ClickView data, and a table with total salesman sales. In this example, you see a report with a page for each country. Your report can be produced with a page for each country, customer, and so on. Even in PowerPoint, you can add pages that cycle in multiple slides. For example, you can create presentations with sales data divided by country with just a few clicks. As in other Microsoft Office applications, all of the application's features can be used to manage, format, and position images and data, allowing you to rapidly author and deploy professional reports. You can also edit your template using the HTML editor, creating a report like this one. Or use our internal Pixel Perfect Banded Report Editor, which allows you to create charts, tables, and sparklines using data from existing tables, charts, and objects contained in multiple ClickView documents. You can customize your report using rich reporting features, such as scripting, conditional formatting, table of contents, shapes, and your logos and images. Now you'll see how to deliver your report. Create a task to distribute your report. First, you have to fill in basic information, such as name and description, and associate the report with the app that you created earlier. Then you choose the report and set the format in which the reports are to be distributed. You can have one or more reports related to a task. This allows you to distribute multiple reports simultaneously.
you can select the users related to this task. You can add specific filters related to the task, so the information contained in the reports will be filtered appropriately. In the Destinations window, you select where to save the report. You can publish it in the newsstand, deliver it by email message, or distribute it to user-specific directories. If you want to send your report by email, you can edit your text and add the reports as attachments. Once the task is created, you can schedule it using a trigger. You can schedule your task so that it is activated with a single shot, daily, or weekly. You can set the daily frequency, the start date, the time zone, and the end date. You can also execute the schedules manually by clicking Run Now. This is the email message that is personalized for each recipient and attached is an Excel report that contains a worksheet for each of the countries for which the user has their information filtered. Since we have inserted five specific countries in our filter, the Excel file contains five worksheets. As you can see, a digital market folder is created with a user-specific subfolder which contains the report you sent. We have also chosen to publish the same report in the user's newsstand. When the user accesses their newsstand, they will see all the reports that have been published to them. Users can view, download, and subscribe to available reports in a user-friendly web interface. Users can create a personal subscription to any reports that they have permission to view. In this way, a user can create a personalized subscription and schedule for the frequency that they prefer. In doing so, users can have the information they want at hand when they need it. Nprinting manages load balancing across servers and the prioritization of publishing tasks based on your needs. If you need greater report distribution capacity, you can easily scale by adding more reporting engines. These are just some of the great features available to you in ClickView nprinting. We encourage you to give it a try yourself and discover all of the tools that ClickView nprinting has to offer.